E3 is the year's biggest video game trade show. This year, over 140 new PlayStation games went on display in Atlanta. We know you'd like to play these games yourself and see which ones are hot, but you're about to meet four industry pros who are actually paid to do this. Here's an exclusive look at some of their personal favorites. Hi, I'm Mark Vitello. Hi, I'm Mike Foster. Chris C. Hopper. And I'm Chris Colon of the Third Party Evaluation Department at Sony Computer Entertainment. PlayStation Underground has asked us to check out some of the hottest games at the show, so let's take a look. Hi, we're over at the uh, Konami booth, and my first pick for the show is Silent Hill from Konami. You play this guy who's lost his daughter. You were driving into town involved in a car crash. When you wake up from the car crash, your daughter's disappeared. The only problem is, so is the rest of the town. You see fabulous lighting effect now. This works very well in the game to build tension. As you're exploring areas, you can't see beyond the range of your light, which means the monsters are going to leap out at you and be almost on your toes before you see them. Look for Silent Hill in a store near you this Christmas. We're here at Sony Computer Entertainment America's booth, and my first pick is Spyro the Dragon. This is Spyro the Dragon, developed by Insomniac Games and Universal Interactive Studios. It's a full, free-roaming, 3D action platform game. Uh, some of the really cool things about this game is that it has these beautiful panoramic worlds, all 3D, with uh, great 3D characters and animation. As Spyro the Dragon, you can flame, roll, glide, fly. So your goal in Spyro the Dragon is to go around and free all these crystal dragons. We think it's going to be a great game, so look for it in September in a store near you. My first pick of the show for hottest game has to be Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Let's take a quick look at it. One of our greatest features is that the whole world is uh, streamed together. So you get this non-loading, continuous world where every level is just really super rich with detail because we're constantly bringing new data in. Uh, so it gives you this very immersive environment. As the game goes on, you acquire mechanics which make you explore more nooks and crannies of the world. So the game kind of blossoms from a, a hub and spoke kind of a, kind of a model. Um, you have lots of player mechanics. You can stab vampires through the heart and impale them. Suck souls to gain energy, which just did there. Check out our game, Soul Reaver Christmas 98. Hope you love it. We're here at the Box Interactive booth. My next pick for the show is N2O. Basically, we are pushing the PlayStation to the extreme in terms of lighting effects, morphing, 22 aliens, 15 weapons, numerous ways of killing enemies. Every time you kill a beast in these tunnels, it will release a, a burst of nitrous oxide, which your tunnel runner is powered by. So, the more you kill, basically, the faster you go. Obviously, another big feature is soundtrack. We have Crystal Method that have produced 10 tracks for the game, four exclusive to our product. This extreme shooter is coming out in the middle of June, so look out for it. It's going to be really hot. We're here at the Psygnosis booth for my next pick. Colony Wars Vengeance. It's a space combat epic game which takes what was great about the original game and does it even better second time around. We've got feedback from the original game and really drew up a wish list of everything people would want in a sequel to the game. So we've now got a whole new number of new crafts. We've got 50% new weapons. This isn't just a straight shooter. We've got characterization in the game. We've got these new mech kit creatures coming through, new bosses that you need to destroy. Colony Wars Vengeance is coming out early November 98, and as far as we're concerned, and everybody else who's been to this stand, this is the must-buy game for Christmas. My second pick for best game of the show is from Psygnosis, and it's ODT. I'm presenting ODT, which is our new uh, 3D action adventure game with a strong RPG part. You have the choice of choosing between four characters. Everything is based on the motion capture engine. You have four weapons, a lot of spells to launch. And of course, the, depending on the way you live the adventure, you will accumulate some experience since you will be able to customize a lot of char your character, improving weapons, constitution, spirit. You will be able to use a lot of the background, like this turret, for example, in order to clean very difficult areas. So the game is uh, in beta now, it should be released uh, near the end of the year, probably in November 98. We're here at the Konami booth with the greatly anticipated Metal Gear Solid. 
This game definitely promises to live up to all the hype that was generated last year. Probably the coolest game in here of the show at E3. You play a character called Solid Snake. He's a genetically engineered super soldier with the aim of infiltrating an Alaskan base to stop nuclear missiles launching against the US. There's some great enemies in this game with telekinesis that are throwing objects at you and just and shooting you at the same time. Plus, we uh, are making some really cool usage of uh, PlayStation hardware. The uh, DualShock controller, for example. Every time you're spotted or shot, it's going to vibrate. Plus, there's some other hidden things we can't tell you about right now. You'll be able to see Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation in stores this October. Keep an eye open for it. Okay, we're here at the Atlas booth for my third pick of the show. Um, it's called Brigandine, and it's a strategy RPG. Today we're taking out Brigandine, which is developed in Japan. Uh, some of the features will be they have 3D battle scenes, has, well, 50-some hours of gameplay, has all the elements of strategy and RPG mixed into one, which makes it a really good game. Like the best of both was like a combination of ogre battle, tactics ogre, Final Fantasy tactics, that type of genre, and a little bit of your traditional PC type simulation, whereas you control your armies, that's how you go to different kingdoms. This is going to be available in Christmas. You guys should all check it out. It's a great game for hardcore RPG great gamers. It's like a dream come true. Another one of my favorite games this year at the show is Colin McRae Rally from Codemasters. 48 tracks, all unique, end-to-end, -end, representing the uh, whole of the world rally series. 12 different cars, including 12 classics. Very intense physics model, built around the original Toker engine. There's rolls, there's crashes, there's deformation of the car and damage. You have to rebuild your car during the uh, service stages, so it's as much a strategy element within the game as the handling your own ability to drive the car. So it'll be in stores later in the summer. You check it out. It's a great game. It's the best. That's it for me 3 Those are some of the hottest games. See you next year.